Hello friends, my name is Holly Rhiannon and today I'm going to talk to you about all the ways you can participate in NaNoWriMo. First of all, this is Kobe. He's one of the guests of the Meowington home. Say hello. He was running around meowing, so I told him if he was going to be a part of the video, he was going to actually be a part of the video. So here we are. <laughs> In a previous video of mine this month, I mentioned that this was my third year creating content for Preptober and NaNoWriMo on YouTube. But that is incorrect. It is actually my fourth year. I think I got mixed up because I was just like not thinking of 2020, and I guess a lot of people don't really think of 2020. We don't want to. So for those first three years, I always did a classic month of NaNoWriMo. If you don't know what that means, um, it means that I wrote 50k words and completed... Oh, are we going? Are we going now? Okay. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, it means that I wrote 50k words and completed the first draft of a new novel. This is the main NaNo goal, but it's not the only one. And for those of us who need to focus a bit differently, I want to talk about how you can do that. I figure this is the best year for it, too, as for the first time, I am doing rebel rather than classic NaNoWriMo. So let's dip back into the classic approach for a second. If you are doing this, you are going to want to be sure you can dedicate a period of time to writing every single day. One of the best things about classic NaNoWriMo is that it will help you establish a daily writing routine. And sure, other Rymo approaches will probably do the same, but you have that 50k goal hanging over your head, which makes it really necessary with the classic approach. With this method, aside from ensuring you have the time, you will also probably have wanted to participate in Preptober to outline in advance, and going into November, you will really need to maintain a rough draft mentality. Don't edit as you go. Just get that count in and complete your novel. Next up is Rebel Rhymo. This is the other official way to participate during November. There's a badge for it on the nano site, so you can let people know that you're not following the usual rules for your writing month. Rebels are participants who deviate from standard guidelines. They might choose to continue on an existing work, write a collection of short stories, work on poetry, etc. For me, I am going to continue editing my fantasy epic, Sintera. It was tempting to start something new. I love starting new projects, but this one has been waiting in the wings just far too long already, so I need to finish it before moving on. Like That is a, a hard, necessary thing for me right now. So I will be putting aside my usual and going with the unusual, and hopefully by next year I will be doing something new. If you are wanting to rebel it up this year, be sure to tailor the challenge to fit your writing needs and goals, setting a challenging yet achievable goal. The rest of these ways that you can participate in NaNoWriMo can also be classed in the rebel arena, but I wanted to single them out as I've had friends who have done all of these in the past years, and it's just kind of inspiring to think about them. Editing Rymo is when you focus on editing and revising a manuscript rather than creating a new one. So I guess technically that is what I'll be doing, but I'm going to just operate under the general rebel label as per the website. A note about editor Rymo, word count might be a bit of an odd one for this, so you might prefer to break down your daily tasks to page count instead. For me, I am still doing word count, but it's going to go by words edited, mostly because I am at the part of my editing where I'm going to be adding stuff as well. So it's going to be a mashup of, of removing and adding, and I feel comfortable doing the word count thing within this stage of the novel. Collaborative NaNoWriMo is a really interesting rebel concept. During collaborative NaNoWriMo, you'll be joining forces with other writers to collaborate on a single project. This can be a really fun way to share ideas, build a story together, and go all out with the community element, which NaNoWriMo already fosters. If you're doing a collaborative NaNo this year, be sure to communicate regularly with your partners, set clear expectations, and be open to compromise and creativity. 
Last but not least, and someone is back here because he decided to have a very noisy play session right behind me and I had to do about 18 takes before just grabbing him. <laughs> you might try a hybrid approach. Under the rebel umbrella, almost anything goes after all. You can combine elements of the things I've already mentioned, like wrapping up an existing manuscript in the first half of the month, and then wrapping up November by starting to edit that manuscript. The primary goal here would be simply to make progress on your writing projects and establish that daily writing routine. Since NaNoWriMo is a goal-oriented event, it can be easy to get caught up in that excitement and stress and the urge to win. But I really like to be clear about this. If you spend the month of November thinking about your writing, building a routine, and giving yourself space to be creative, then you are winning. I'm someone who has always won NaNoWriMo, but in the end, the most valuable thing I get out of it year after year is a much needed reset and return to productivity in the writing realm. It's pretty easy to get sidetracked as the year progresses, but in October and November, if you make that commitment to participate in the biggest writing event of the year, you'll be building all of the habits and skills you need to keep going at least for the majority of the next year ahead. And that is my final Preptober talk before we get into November. Over the next month, there will continue to be text-based sprints on the Stygian Discord server Tuesday nights and live video sprints here on YouTube Saturday afternoons. Watch my community tab and socials to be sure you get notified for all of those and also any potential changes in schedule. My fellow authors at the Stygian Society who have been a part of the Stygian collection, a lot of them will also be participating in NaNoWriMo, so I will be sharing as many of their events as well. So you will be very much covered for community support if you come here and to Stygian and get involved. With that, thank you so much for stopping by. If you've been here a while, thank you for sticking around. If you're new, welcome. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you actually get notified, hopefully, when I post new videos. I can't wait to enter November with all of you. I hope that you are having a day that is just as wonderful as you are. Bye.